MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Adrian, why have they selected Open Minds Hypermill to actually program this part? Um, well, look at the uh, complexity of the part. It's um, it, it's a very interesting part. You know, this part has been turned, and then we're from that stock of the turning, we're actually milling the component. And all of this programming is done offline, is it? It can be, yeah, certainly. It's, in this case, we are uh, we are doing the milling, milling on this on this stage as we as we speak now. So they're halfway through through the milling, and um, later we're we're on the lower lower part of the um, of the engine case. And, and so, what's the benefit? What's the benefit to actually programming this offline? Obviously, I can see you don't want to have downtime on the machine, but other than that. Um, certainly here it's, it's a large part, so it's very important that you keep the airtime down to a minimum. What I mean by that is the, the spindle is always engaged, or the tool is always engaged on the part cutting material. And that's much easier to do on, a, on an offline system. So, by using Hypermill, you can actually reduce the cycle time by minimising the time that the tool is not cutting. Absolutely, in, in this particular part we're using a method, I mean a lot of people call it Indian Street Shocoidal Machining. Uh, in this case, we're doing it in five axis, axis which is a little bit unique in the, in the marketplace. So we're able to use this, this high performance roughing techniques on a five axis component. And, and this particular part it is obviously quite a complex part. Is there, is there a cycle time to this part? Or more importantly, how long would it take to program a part like this using Hypermill? The programming isn't that long. A lot of features on here. Again, with the part this size, the program could be secondary, but the part security is more important. It could be that there's been a, a lot of uh, work that's gone into this part prior to machining and the part is already expensive when, it's, when it gets onto the machine. So in this case, part of security is really important and it, it could be just a one-off or a two-off in a, in a batch. So you're, you're, you're minimising the risk of potentially having a, a, a scrapper, for example? Absolutely. I mean, the last thing you want to do if you've got a, a £20,000 worth of component on there is to have one on the floor which is which is scrap component. So everyone counts, so it's important that is, even if, a, if it's a one-off, the one-off is good. And uh, is it hard to programme? This is, this is what would be in my mind, all right, the part's quite complex, the machine's obviously sophisticated, alarm bells, is it going to be difficult to actually programme? Personally, I don't think so. You know, with, with Hypermill, we do train our users how to use the software. Obviously, there's a variety of skills uh, with the users that, that come to uh, Open Mind and, and get trained. Uh, but certainly, uh, this is possible in a very short time to program with, with Hypermill. So with this, is there a sort of time that it would take to program this? Um, no, I mean, really, after a very, very short training uh, session, you're able to uh, start work, work on parts. It doesn't matter really on the, on the complexity of, of a simple 2D component or something as, as large as this. It's just a question of um, taking one step at a time and, and um, using Hypermill to program these parts. And, and is CAD CAM for everybody? Is Hypermill for everybody? Is there an audience? Who's it not good for? Engineers love it. Yeah, I mean, if you if you have a certain mind a mindset, if you like a challenge, if you like you're methodical in your in the way you uh, you work, CAM is uh, CAM is a, a nice tool. It enables you to overcome those, these challenges uh, in, in sol solving problems. So really, if we're looking at cycle time re reduction, minimising the risk on components, keeping the machine running continuously, whether it be a complex part or a simple part. Hypermill could be the way forward. Yeah, absolutely, and don't forget the uh, the tool life as well. I mean, it's very important with um, to to maximise the strategies. So you're not burning through carbide um, trying to machine these parts. You want to, you want the strategies and the tool path to be as efficient as possible, um, so that you can get the maximum out of the tools to get obviously the cost down on the on the tooling side as well. Brilliant, Adrian. Thanks for your time. No problem. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.